This is different music. Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy and welcome welcome back to Kyle's famous really weird the little like I heard like a y'all 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 thing like you hear when you turn on the old Xbox, original Xbox, that's ooh, weird. Okay, so let's let's stuff hide. So let's go ahead and get back into it. Kyle woke up. Let's skip this. Alright, so I've got the phone. Browse social media. Okay. Kyle started to scroll through news articles on his phone. Stay up late with Kyle ranked number one and number two show on television. New East Bridge being constructed after being found to not actually exist. Authorities investigating. Huh. Another grand larceny and crime spree streak. Evidence points to perpetrator fleeing the country. Rachel May to unexpectedly leave the country on very, very long vacation after interview tonight. Hmm. Who is the bug vigilante recently spotted pursuing larcenists? Kyle fails to show up to several charity events. Bug Vigilante shows up to charity events with fresh baked pastries. Donations flourish. Hot dogs making resurgence as fuel source for both humans and tugboats. Okay. Phone model recalled. Techno gym stores blame overuse by customers. Kyle's phone exploded in his hands from overuse. Still have it. Sit at the desk. I'm going to see if I can write a question about the long... Kyle wrote down his first question. Kyle wrote down his second question. Kyle wrote down his third question. Kyle wrote down his last question. Do you feel guilty? Kyle ripped his page of notes out of the notebook and got up from the desk. Okay. Kyle decided to take some time to choose the perfect well, outfit. Suit. Kyle miraculously crammed his dumpy body into the suit. The chest mm. pockets were filled with random knickknacks. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Try to eat something real quick. Kyle opened the fridge, intending to find something to eat. Kyle constructed a breakfast of poached eggs and toast, along with a small fruit cup and grilled sausage. Kyle ate his breakfast slowly and thoughtfully, enjoying every bite. He felt refreshed. Yeah, he did. All right, uh, let's go. Let's see if I, I know I said Kyle hurried to normal, the set, but because I found a long, long vacation after this interview. Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman there. with an air of genuinity. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Kyle responded. And I as well, Rachel, answered Kyle, extending his hand in greeting. You are a most welcome guest. After other mild exchanges of pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel were prompted to take their places for the broadcast. A moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked on. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome back to Stay Up Late with Kyle. All right. Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. No. Kyle motioned to Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle, she said. I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm sure we'll have a lot to discuss, so we might as well dive right in, said dive Kyle. Right into the of this. I I'm very ready, said Rachel yeah, with a are. winning smile. There you are. Kyle produced the notes he had taken earlier. Huh. Rachel, I and many others would love to know, are you a mother? Kyle looked up from his notes. Well, being a single woman with a career, she answered, that's not something that has crossed my mind. 
Rachel smiled genuinely at Kyle. Very reasonable indeed, said Kyle. He referenced his paper of questions. Sorry about that. Kyle asked right. another question. Rachel, you manage to keep such a thin and healthy figure, said Kyle. What is your best diet tip? Well, a good diet starts with a plan, answered Rachel. And don't break it. Cheat days can turn into a habit. But, she continued, that doesn't mean a midnight snack here and there isn't allowed. She smiled. Okay. Kyle looked at his flabby self, decided not to comment, and moved on. Dumpy. Kyle asked another question. Yeah, you've been involved in a lot of different things, said Kyle. But what's your funniest story? Well, that's a great question, Kyle, said Rachel. I think the story I always remember is the first time I tried to make dinner for my family. In the soup I made, I swapped out the water with milk and tipped the whole jar of salt in the pot. While my family was sick from trying to eat it, I swiped their things and locked myself in my room. Rachel laughed elegantly. Kyle decided to move on. Kyle asked another question. Rachel, do you feel guilty? Asked Kyle, hitting her with a hard question. Mm -hmm. Rachel raised her eyebrows. About what specifically, Kyle? Things. Things in general. Life. Rachel did not answer immediately. I think, she said, that everyone has things they regret, but those things aren't always what others would expect. Rachel folded her hands in her lap and oh, didn't have anything more to say. After reading his final question, Kyle looked up from his paper. Well, Rachel, he said, I think that's all I was planning on asking you. If that's the case, Kyle, may I ask you something in return? Asked Rachel, smiling one more time. Do you prepare for... Before Kyle could answer, the camera shut down. Kyle returned home knowing the interview had... But as he lay in... Alright, reset here. Kyle started to scroll. Let's State. go back to... New... Another grant... Rachel... Who is okay, the bug... Okay, got it. Stop there, okay. To the desk. Check desk drawers. Changing small key flashlight. Uh, uh. Kyle grabbed the flashlight, but after okay, we've done that one before. Um. Kyle wrote down his first question. Kyle mother? wrote down his second question. Kyle wrote down his third question. Kyle. Are you Kyle guilty? ripped his. Okay. Uh, back to room. Wait a minute. Mm. I'm really interested in, uh, like, I'm really interested in what, what, see there's a noise in this, I wonder if, there's a noise in there, there's a audible noise in this one. There's a noise difference in this one, so that's why I'm kind of like trying to use. Kyle decided to take some time to choose the perfect outfit, knowing how important appearance is. Hmm. I don't know if you guys hear, but there's a hum. Kyle miraculously crammed his dumpy body into the suit. The chest pockets were filled with random knickknacks. I'm going to scavenge next one. Let's, let's go ahead and get something to eat. Move to kitchen. Open fridge. Kyle opened the fridge. Prepare Kyle breakfast. constructed a bread. Eat. Kyle ate his Return. Turn the hallway. Leave apartment. Turn the apartment. There we go. Kyle. Alright, so sitting we're going to try As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Oh, well, piece of the... Good evening, Kyle. Respond. And I. Shake hands. Boop, Tonight. Boop. 
All gonna be good. All gonna be good. All gonna be good. I'm very ready, said Rick. Kyle produced the notes he had taken earlier. Are you mother? More, more. Very more. reasonable. Kind of skipping this little bit. Kyle asked. More. A burning question from the fans, said Kyle. Beef, Burn. do you prefer it mashed or blended? Rachel answered promptly. Mashed. And no more was said on that matter. Nice. Kyle asked another question. Yeah, you've been... Story, bop, bop. Talking about it, stealing her stuff. Well, my... Rachel. Ky right. Kyle asked another question. So if this works... Rachel. Are you guilty? Kyle threw his questions on the floor, stood up and pointed at her. Rachel's eye twitched slightly. Guilty of what, dear Kyle? She smiled disingenuously. Guilty, spat Kyle. Of your crimes! Rachel did not answer. Her eyelids both started twitching uncontrollably. Oh, oh, Kyle oh, whipped out please. his phone and started dialing the police. <laughs> yes! Oh, yes! Kyle quickly realized that the broken phone he had gotten for free was not able to call anyone. Oh, no! I didn't have to go to the tech store. Kyle looked sadly at his hand, realizing he had botched a wonderful opportunity to be helpful. Oh, no. Rachel looked at Kyle smiling. Her eyebrows twitched a bit. Oh, no. It's so close. What's the problem, Kyle? Anything I can help you with? She glared, still smiling. <laughs> Oh no! I just imagine Dumpy Kyle with the phone going, "Aha! Oh no!" <laughs> Love TV. Kyle looked up from his hand sadly. He slowly shook his head. No. <laughs> the interview continued on. Rachel answered questions cheerily. Damn. Kyle forced a smile through the entire episode, but he felt <laughs> very sad inside. Oh no! <laughs> Kyle had missed his chance to be helpful. Damn. Was it <laughs> Kyle wasn't helpful. Oh man. Okay, I got like I wanted to start something different. But we're gonna go ahead and reset. Work. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna browse Kyle social started media. We gotta to be very specific. Can't Stay be up quick. Late. That's New fine. East Bridge. Be That's fine. Another grand larceny. That's fine. Rachel May to unexpectedly leave the country on very, very long vacation after interview tonight. Get out of bed. Sit at a desk. There gotta be very right interview questions. Kyle wrote down his first question. Are you a mother? Kyle wrote down his second question. From Ma Masha Blended. Kyle wrote down his third. Funniest story. Kyle wrote down. Are you guilty? Kyle ripped his page of notes. Back to desk. Back to room. Bedroom to hallway. Move to kitchen. Open fridge. Kyle opened the fridge. Prepare Kyle breakfast. Kyle constructed a... Eat. Kyle ate his... Turn to kitchen. Turn to hallway. I haven't put clothes on. Shit. <laughs> Turn to bedroom. Open closet. Shoes out. Kyle... Slick suit. Kyle miraculous. Back. <laughs> Exit. Leave apartment. God dang it, tech store. This phone, said Kyle, is several years old and has exposed wires coming out of the back. Kyle continued. Also, the screen has had issues ever since I used it to hammer nails into the wall. Furthermore, when I submerge it in water, I get severely shocked until it runs out of battery. The attendant looked at Kyle, pursed his lips, and said nothing. Give me a phone. Feeling he had made his argument, Kyle decided to leave. No! Damn it! Kyle Damn hurt. it. Damn it. Damn it. Good evening. Oh, here's Kyle we're responded. Gonna we're gonna... And I as well, Rachel, answered Kyle, extending his hand in greeting. We're gonna... You are a most welcome guest. We're gonna flip it on his ear here. We'll After try other one. mild exchanges of pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel were prompted to take their places for the broadcast. A moment after seating, the studio... Right, Good yeah, evening, gonna... everyone. Tonight, I have the- No. However, said Kyle, suddenly dropping his voice, oh. Rachel May is not sitting next to me. She is not new to this show. She did not walk in before me. So we're gonna do. In fact, said Kyle, I am Rachel May. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Rachel looked at Kyle, confused, and silently mouthed the words, You are who? You know who I am. 
Kyle stood up quickly and threw his arm high above him, pointing upwards. I have never been, <laughs> Kyle! He proclaimed. <laughs> I have never been the host of the show Stay Up Late with Kyle. Kyle looked and pointed directly at the camera. I am here for but one reason. To interview myself. Kyle sat down in his chair and went to produce the notes he had <laughs> taken notes. earlier. I'm gonna ask Rachel May. Kyle read the first question on his Fuck. list. It's that or, one. Ah, uh, I'm glad. Or in a great lies! Impossible! I don't believe it! Kyle, I've never Kyle Damn. The two eventually Kyle The broadcast ended. The crew, Rachel and Kyle, said their goodbyes and returned there? home. But Kyle continued to think about Rachel after the interview ended. Something about Rachel had struck Kyle. He wasn't exactly sure what. But he did know that he was interested to hear that she was single. Okay, so notice Rachel. Reset. I'm not even gonna browse social media. I'm not even gonna browse it. Because I don't have time. Exit. Sit at desk. Write notes for interview. Kyle wrote down his first question. Am I a Kyle mother? wrote down Beef Mash. Kyle wrote down his third. Funny story. Kyle wrote down his How are you guilty? Kyle ripped his back to desk. Back to room. Open closet. Shoes out. Kyle decided slick suit. Kyle Mar back to room. Exit the hallway. Move to kitchen. Open fridge. Kyle op Prepare bread. Kyle constructed eat. Kyle ate his Return to kitchen. Return to hallway. Leave apartment. Visit the tech store. So techno gym. A small microphone. This didn't really give me anything. Quickly, before the attendant could acknowledge him, Kyle grabbed Techno Jim by the shoulders. Finding that Techno Jim's cardboard feet were bolted to the ground, Kyle started to heave upwards. After several tugs, Techno Jim broke free, leaving one foot and one leg behind. Kyle glanced at the attendant, who was staring, <laughs> bewildered, and ran outside. Continue with the. I've got techno chill. <laughs> oh shit. Kyle approached his down. A middle aged woman named Gabby Consume answered the door. Gabby? Scream and spin, greet and go. Consume Gabby. Oh no. <laughs> Can I consume Gabby? No. I got. <laughs> I got a key. Hmm. Let's scream and spit. <laughs> Slowly, Kyle started to twirl outside of Gabby's door, arms outstretched. Oh, shit. He tilted his neck upwards and let loose a long, passionate, and meaningful <laughs> scream. As Kyle continued to spin, Gabby shut and locked her door, as she did every time Kyle screamed outside her door. Every time he does it all. Eventually, <laughs> Kyle ran out of breath and fell over. All right. Kyle hurried to the set. So this might be different. Sitting here. across from his host chair was a glamour. Okay. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked. That's Good up. evening, Kyle, she said, <laughs> looking him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. <laughs> Interview Techno Jim instead. <laughs> Kyle roughly shoved Rachel out of her seat and placed Techno Jim in her stead. Oh, shit! Hello, Techno Jim, <laughs> said Kyle. I'm going to interview you today. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Kyle grasped Techno Jim's hand and tried to shake it, but instead <laughs> tore it off the cardboard frame. Oh, no. <laughs> Kyle's producer, sensing viral media, pulled the bewildered Rachel out of frame and motioned the crew to go live. Oh, get out of here. We're interviewing Techno Jim today. Cameraman moved, lights flashed, and suddenly oh. the studio was on air. Oh, God. Hi. I'm Kyle, said Kyle, and tonight I'm going to interview a very special guest. Oh. He pointed at Techno Jim using the dismembered arm. <laughs> oh, God. Techno Jim started to smoke from the heat of the lights. Oh, no. Oh, no. Would you like to introduce yourself? Asked Kyle. 
Knowing Jim would probably not speak, Kyle took it upon himself to be his voice as well. Oh, shit. Hi, Kyle, he said, raising the pitch of his voice. My name is Rachel May, and I'm a very special guest. Oh, my God. <laughs> Rachel's expression of confusion turned to shock. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, Rachel, you look way too thin and absolutely terrible, and you should feel ugly. <laughs> Kyle gave Jim a meaningful stare. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wow, Kyle, he said. <laughs> I sure wish I could look like you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Techno Jim burst into flames. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Instantaneously, the sprinkler system initiated. Oh. Within seconds, the production equipment was doused in water. The set was soon a burst with electrical water. fires. Can I, can I, is there, is there anything I can see here? With... It's raided. Kyle's crew abandoned their posts as cameramen and sound mixers to try to put the fires out. Wow. As the crew scrambled around, the cameras continued to run. Kyle sat, <laughs> motionless, staring forward. <laughs> oh my god. Eventually, the fires were all put out. Kyle's producer shut off the broadcast, leaving Kyle's vacant stare as the final frame. Wow. Kyle's rating skyrocketed. <laughs> yeah, they did! <laughs> Techno Jim became a staple on the show, often ending up destroyed by the end of each episode. Although Rachel did not come back on the show, her cardboard portrayal did. Rachel was very popular. Yes. Interviewed Rachel. Yes. Oh god, that was so great. <laughs> Alright. I've gotta I've gotta try to find on this this phone. I gotta get this phone working somehow. But I, I just want to consume somebody. <laughs> mm, what if I just ate everything? Let's let's just. <laughs> God, <laughs> I'm gonna go for it. Let's do it. Oh God, I'm not even gonna put clothes on. Sit at desk. <laughs> Check drawer. <laughs> Get the small key. I'll grab the <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I gotta go. I must consume. Back to room. <laughs> but naked. Exit <laughs> the hallway. Move to kitchen. Open fridge. Kyle opened the fridge, intending to find something to eat. Eat the fridge. <laughs> Kyle pointed his neck directly upwards <laughs> and hoisted the fridge on top of his face. God. Somehow, oh. miraculously, he wrapped his mouth around the device. Mm. He started to swallow. Oh, God. In one slow, horrible movement, the fridge slid down Kyle's throat. Oh, God. After many gurgles, pops, and snaps, mm. Kyle felt relatively sure the fridge would not come back out. Oh, boy. Now we're going to check the pantry. Kyle wanted want to ask. The pantry door lock creaked as if it had... Instead of an assortment of canned goods and grains, Kyle's pantry stored his massive amount of bottled lard. I'm gonna chug a bottle of lard right now. Kyle voraciously grabbed the closest <laughs> bottle, snapped the neck against the wall, and sucked out all of the fat within a minute. <laughs> oh God, stop! I'm gonna turn the hallway. Leave, leave the apartment. <laughs> Visit the downstairs. Kyle neighbor. approached his downstairs neighbor's door and knocked. Oh boy. A middle-aged woman named Gabby answered the door. <laughs> Kyle unhinged his jaw and swallowed <laughs> Gabby whole. Damn. Job done, Kyle returned to the middle of the street. <laughs> Visit, <laughs> Visit tech store. Still techno jail. Quickly, before the finding oh the tech after several tugs. Kyle glanced at the attendant, who was this? staring, Gabby. bewildered, and it's ran checked. outside. Go naked. I'm naked. Kyle hurried to the set. Mm. Sitting across from his host <laughs> chair was a glamorous woman <clears throat> with an air of genuinity. I'm naked. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Yes, yeah, she did. Rachel's smile quickly turned to shock <laughs> as she realized Kyle had not put on clothes that day. No, he didn't. Kyle waved and smiled broadly. Rachel uncomfortably averted her eyes. <laughs> Kyle started making his rounds around the room, greeting each crew member, none of whom looked at him directly. As it became apparent that Kyle had no intention of leaving, Rachel made some excuses and exited the set. Yes, did. One by one, the crew followed suit. 
Kyle was left all alone. Damn, I can't do it. Being a nudist. Reset. Okay. Okay, that was far. So we're gonna do this. We're just going to consume Gabby. That's what we're gonna do. Exit bed. So I do need to put on clothes. Open closet. Choose an outfit. Kyle decided. Slick suit. Kyle Mer Back to room. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and eat breakfast. What we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and eat breakfast. Open fridge. Kyle opened the. Prepare breakfast. Kyle constructed. Eat. Kyle ate his. Turn to kitchen. Turn the hallway. Leave the apartment. This neighbor's Kyle downstairs. approached his downstairs neighbor's door and a middle-aged woman Consume Kyle Gabby. unhinged his jaw and swallowed Gabby whole. Job <laughs> done. Kyle returned to the middle of the street. Let's go write these interview questions. Return to the uh, Return to the bedroom. Let's the desk. Our interview questions. Kyle wrote down his first question. Are you a mother? Kyle wrote down his... Mashed. Kyle wrote down his... Funny story. Kyle... Are you guilty? Kyle ripped... Back to the desk. Back to room. Exit the hallway. Leave apartment. Visit tech store. More. Kyle, sitting across. As Kyle, hey. good evening, Kyle. She, Kyle responded. And I as well, Rachel. Answered Kyle, extending his hand in greeting. You are a most welcome guest. Okay. After other mild exchange, a moment after seating, the studio lights bright. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome back to Stay Up Late with Kyle. Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the... Kyle motioned to Rachel, who... Well, I'm sure we'll have a lot to discuss. I'm... Th Kyle produced the notes he had taken earlier. Okay. Let's, do, let's try to get to the... Rachel... Uh, well, being a... Rachel... Very reasonable indeed. Kyle asked a burning <clears throat> question. Rachel answered. Kyle asked, and uh, you've been involved. Well, I. Okay, all right, this, all right. While my. Rachel. Kyle does. Kyle asked, and Rachel. Okay. Rachel's. Guilty. Rachel did not answer. Her eyelids both started twitching uncontrollably. After reading his final question, well, Rachel, he said. If that's the case, Kyle, may I? Do you prepare? Before Kyle could answer, the camera shut down. Kyle returned home, but as he lay in bed, nothing happened. I just Gabby's so just something I can consume. Okay. How do I fix the phone? How do I fix the phone? Exit. Here's what I need to do. Open closet. Choose outfit. Kyle decided to take some time to choose the perfect outfit, knowing how Slick suit. Kyle miraculous Sit a desk. Chain CD, small key, flashlight. <clears throat> Let's take a sword change. Kyle scoop back to the desk. Take the small key. Kyle grabbed. Interviews. Kyle wrote down his. Are you a mother? Kyle beef. Kyle wrote funniest. Kyle. Are you guilty? Kyle back. Back to room. Exit. Kitchen. Fridge. Kyle. Prepare. Kyle can eat. Kyle eat. turn. Turn. Leave apartment. Visit tech store. Buy batteries with change. What needs ba the flashlight needs batteries? Okay. All right. So can I? So I can restart from here. Okay. So I can buy batteries. Flashlight. Okay. All right. So. <clears throat> Kyle counted out one dollar. Okay, so that's just gonna be it. Let's let's restart here. Okay. Exit bed. Scavenge. 
Kyle quickly crouched down on the floor. Resources. Kyle began to comb through the damp piles of no, filth no, no, and no, no, mold no. on his floor. In okay. Uh, <clears throat> exit bed. Open closet. Shoes out. Kyle dis Slick suit. Kyle miraculous. Back to room. Sit at desk. Check dress drawer, assorted chain. Kyle scoop back to desk. Uh, back to room. Exit hallway. Leave apartment. Visit tech store. Buy batteries. With Kyle change. counted out one dollar and ninety eight cents. Back to tech shop. Turn to street. Turn to apartment. Move to bed. Return to bedroom. <clears throat> Sit at desk. Check desk drawer. Flashlight. Kyle grabbed the flashlight, but after jiggling the switch, he found it was out of batteries. Insert flashlight on the batteries. Kyle put the batteries upright on his desk and popped the flashlight batteries on top one by one. Okay. Back to room. Open closet. Inspect flashlight. Kyle shined his flashlight into his moist cave-like closet that had not seen light in years. After several minutes of searching around with the light, Kyle saw something unusual in the back. There was a pile of strange items, including a small metal box with a large red button stamped with Travel Time. Kyle, bored of the situation, mashed the button, hardly reading the label above. The box hummed and shook. The outside metal grew hot and slowly curved in on itself. In a moment, it was early in the morning. Kyle had gained several hours of preparation time. Holy shit. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Closet. Kyle knelt down and inspected the... Okay. So if I'm dressed, I need to eat. Kyle opened the fridge, intending to find... Kyle constructed... Kyle ate his breakfast. Okay. Apartment. It's a tech store. Give me this phone, phone, said Kyle, is several years old and has exposed wires coming out of the back. Kyle continued. Okay. Furthermore... The attendant looked at Kyle, pursed his lips, and said nothing. Feeling he had made his argument, Kyle decided to leave. Quickly, before the attendant could acknowledge him, Kyle grabbed Techno Jim by finding... After several tugs, Kyle glanced at the... Kyle approached his... A middle-aged woman named Gabby. Good morning, neighbor, said Kyle cheerfully. Gabby looked at Kyle expectantly. Gabby, asked Kyle, tell me about yourself. Gabby stiffened. Oh, you know, she said, putting on a fake smile. I just sit around here. Yes, I don't get around much. Never go out at night. I just stay here, right here. Gabby glared at Kyle. Okay. Kyle, sitting across as Kyle approached. Good evening. Nope. Kyle responded. And I as after other a moment. Good evening. Tonight I have Kyle motion. Well, uh, I'm in a shock. Kyle realized he had never bothered to prepare any notes for the Knowing he had the eyes of millions upon him, Kyle came up with a solution quickly. Rachel, I need to be honest. You're not terribly <laughs> interesting, and I could not... <laughs> In fact, continued Kyle, I would far rather interview a fish than I would you. Damn. <laughs> And furthermore, oh said God. Kyle, I'm not sure I could tell the difference between a you and a fish. Oh God. Kyle leaned back in his chair and desperately hoped the blame had been shifted adequately. Rachel glowered at Kyle. Kyle glowered back. Rachel left the studio. 
Kyle no longer had a guest and spent the next 42 minutes staring at the camera silently. Unlocked new background. Hey. Uh, let's go. Okay, copper blaming others. Uh, new background, right? Unlocks. It's fair. Let's try that. Okay, I wonder what this looks like. Kyle. Hey. Up. He. All right. So I've got 30 minutes. Exit that. We're going to try this one. Kyle quickly crouched down on the floor, realizing his immediate need for... Bugs. Kyle started to pick between the fuzz of his bedroom carpet, hoping to catch a stray beetle or two. Soon, he had a small handful of various insects, dead and alive. Kyle stashed the wriggling mass for later use. Okay. Ball of bugs. So now, Kyle, slick suit. Kyle miraculous. Mector. So here's what we're gonna do. If I do it right, I have plenty of time. So it's gonna be, let's see, exit bedroom hallway, leave apartment. Oh, I gotta get the change too. So let's do that. Set desk, check desk drawer, so we're change. Kyle scooped up the change, scat. Back to desk. Check to store. Take the flashlight. Kyle grabbed the flashlight. Back to desk. I gotta go. Back to room. Maybe it's a bedroom hallway. Leave apartment. Visit tech store. Buy batteries. Kyle counted out. Insert the flashlight. Kyle crammed the batteries into his flashlight. Okay. Turn to the street. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Turn to the apartment. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Turn to the bedroom. Open closet. Check the flashlight. Kyle shined his flat. More. After several. More. There was a pile of travel time. Kyle, bored of the situation. Yes. The box hummed and shook. The outside metal grew hot and slowly. Got it. It was early in the morning. Kyle had gained several hours of preparation time. Nice. So, set a desk. Right here, you notes. Kyle wrote down his first question. Are you a mother? Kyle Beef mash. Kyle wrote a story. Kyle Are you guilty? Kyle back to desk. Check the desk drawer. CDs. Classical music. I don't need that. Back to room. In the hallway. Move to kitchen. Let's eat. Kyle. Prepare breakfast. Kyle constructed a break. Eat. Kyle ate his. In the kitchen. Turn the hallway. Leave apartment. Visit downstairs neighbor. Kyle approached his. More. A middle-aged woman named Gabby answered the door. Green star Good morning, neighbor. That's said Kyle cheerfully. Gabby about Kyle. Gabby, Kyle asked very earnestly, "How do you feel about me?" The expectation on Gabby's face transformed into consternation. Even the worst of men are given grace, Kyle, she replied, though they don't deserve it. As she finished her sentence, she gently pushed Kyle away and shut the door. Okay. Kyle Hook, sitting across Got from his host chair, was a as Kyle approached her, Rachel. Good evening, Kyle. Kyle responded. And I as well, Rachel, answered Kyle. Ex after other mild exchanges of pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel... A moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and the cameras... Good evening, everyone. Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. So that's the only place you can do the CDs, it looks like. So let's just keep going. Kyle motioned to... Well, I'm sure we'll have a... I'm... Kyle produced the notes he had taken earlier. It's not going to change anything. Rachel. Are Rachel's eye guilty. Rachel did not. Kyle whipped out his phone and started. 
Kyle quickly re Kyle Rachel What Damn. Kyle the Kyle Kyle had missed Damn. Alright, that's gonna be it for now. I'm gonna have to play around with it. I don't know exactly what uh what was that box here. Trail swoop doop and gloop gloop. Expansions here, okay. There's all the endings. This unlocked something. Sorry, an ending. No friend. Any of these down here yet? There's so many weird ones down there. Oh, Rachel was guilty. Kyle wasn't helpful, so something down here is Rachel was guilty. So these, so so Rachel's guilty about something. So I gotta get that phone fixed. I don't know how to do it, but anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. This is so much fun. <laughs> I'm having a blast playing this. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.